kitchen, I was waiting to shine. My father taught me don't be soft, so now I'm taking what's mine. I define myself as ambitious, young, black, and gifted. Master P, my masterpiece, that mean I don't got no limits. Bout it, bout it, I doubt it. My homies know you ain't right if we break you down like a pound. I got it, don't pound us around me. I'm corrupted, flow cold, and it's rugged, bumpy. What is up? I'm ready for all you got to love it. Like, black, yeah, and it feel like. Thank you, Coach. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. This is Daryl Henderson, the rookie third rounder. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Well, Henderson is a junior in Memphis last year, better than 1,900 yards, had 25 total touchdowns. Well, they drafted him in the third round in an effort to try to give Todd Gurley some support in a backup role. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check, check, check. On second down, it's Henderson, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now it's gone. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Chandler Jones make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. 
They go play action here on first down. Well, he's going to take a shot right away into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by John Johnson, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and no more. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Throwing on third, gone. And that is incomplete. Byron Murphy, the first pick of the second round there defensively. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they got to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves. Maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Now Murray throwing on second down. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. They'll run on first down, Edmonds. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Escaping the point. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Marching in for the sack, Michael Brockers. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Now that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Murray with a third and long. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Samson Abukum in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Corey Peters there to bring him down. 
second down, it's Henderson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. From the gun on third down, gone. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. On second down, this is Edmonds. And a short gain here down to the 22. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. We've now seen three consecutive one-yard gains, and it brings up fourth down. And the kick by Gonzalez is good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces them to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Still a few inches short of the first down as they come up now on second down. Goff going to give this one to Henderson. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Two for one. Hey, exit. A shotgun snap for goal. Flushed out right. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. He's not gonna get me. No, no, no. Hey, Henderson now on first and ten. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally. Creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On second and nine, Goff. The Rams on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Henderson will try and run for the first. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. 
Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Cut! 180! Check! 53! I'm, I'm coming after you! Here you go, Here you go! I'm coming after you! Cut. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I just figured this out wrong with the football. On second down now. It's Henderson, and there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Third and two, golf. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. First down, L.A. Goff finding Higby. Goff now 5 for 5 on the drive. He's responded after the interception. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Henderson. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the ten at the eleven. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a yard on the run there. That's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there, but here's the other part. 13 plays... You don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Update now from a game going on in Pittsburgh. The Browns, they have scored again to add on to their lead. And we'll try and keep you updated on those events and others around the league as we continue through this one. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First down, Murray. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Murray now on first down. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The Sorry. coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Yeah. 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 59, many weapons. Check, check, 59. Let's go, baby. Get that ball. But again, they'll throw with Murray. He's going to run, but he's got a long... Oh, now Murray has it stripped. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. Now, let's be frank. You hate the fumble at the end of the play. But prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline... Step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. Play They'll run on first down. Acres. Jordan Phillips is the one on the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Let's go, D. Big C. Big C. screen it's complete and they go backwards here losing yardage back at the 48 yard line it's a six yard loss on the play and it'll be a third and about 13 the cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half they had the catch on second down but it didn't help at all and now they're looking at third down here here's gone Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. Now the card's going to call another timeout. They're second as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds. Number one. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together, could get into field goal range. Let's see what happens. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Mike's 59. Mike. Oh, try. On second down, here's Murray. Flush to his right. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. you got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half, I mean, that just didn't happen. From the two now, second and goal. They'll look to run with Henderson, and he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Daryl Henderson as the first half is winding down, and the Rams have taken the lead. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead is now 10-3. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Okay, coach. Appreciate it. A